Since first arriving to New York as a gift from the people of France, the Statue of Liberty has become one of America's most well-known and iconic symbols. Lady Liberty has undergone some updates and changes over 130 plus years she has presided over New York Harbor, but here are 10 amazing Statue of Liberty facts you may not have known. 1. The Statue of Liberty's dedication inspired another New York City tradition. The Statue of Liberty's dedication inspired another uniquely New York institution, the Ticker Tape Parade. New York office workers got the idea to unfurl financial ribbons from windows on October 29, 1886, the day President Grover Cleveland presided over the dedication ceremony. 2. A handful of people have called Liberty Island home. Up until Hurricane Sandy hit in 2012, David Luxinger and his wife were residents of a very, very exclusive neighborhood, Liberty Island. As the superintendent of the Statue of Liberty, Luxinger is one of a select few people who have ever called the island home. The National Park Ranger selected to be the seer of the statue was provided with free housing a small brick house, located on the other side of the island. Unfortunately, the cozy little house sustained serious damage during Hurricane Sandy and was not rebuilt, making the Luxinger's Liberty Island's last official residence. 3. The statue's pedestal used to house military families. The star-shaped Fort Wood, which now serves as part of the statue's pedestal, was home to military families from 1818 until the mid-1930s. These military families often included young children like Pete Blum, who, in 2012, recalled to the New York Times a 4th of July where GIS bounced bottle rockets off of Lady Liberty's posterior. Another man, James Hill, recalled that he and his younger sister would drop baseballs from Liberty's crown to see how high they would bounce. Other Liberty Island kids said they climbed to the torch tower and made it rock back and forth. 4. Visitors used to be able to climb to the top of the torch. Once upon a time, it wasn't just island kids who could climb to the tip of the torch. Tourists were able to climb up to the precarious perch until 1916, when those privileges were revoked in response to the Black Tom incident. Around 2 a.m. on July 30th, Black Tom then an island in New York Harbor was rocked by the explosion of about 2 million tons of war materials such as TNT, black powder, shrapnel, and dynamite. The blast was the equivalent of an earthquake measuring 5.5 on the Richter scale. Shrapnel flew across the night sky and embedded itself in the Statue of Liberty. Windows shattered as far as 25 miles away. It was later determined that German agents intent on stopping the munitions from getting to their English enemies had ignited the supply. The Statue of Liberty's torch was closed partially due to infrastructure damage from the blast and partially just out of concern for terrorism. It's been closed ever since but you can still appreciate the view from the top with this torch cam, installed in 2011. 5. The spikes radiating from a crown are part of the crown. The seven spikes radiating from the Statue of Liberty's crown are actually part of the crown. They're meant to be a halo also known as an oriole, with the spikes representing the world's seven seas and continents. The rays were temporarily removed from her crown in 1938 so their rusted supports could be replaced. 6. The Statue of Liberty was supposed to have a sister statue and lighthouse in Egypt. Sculptor Frederick Bartholdi offered to make Egypt a large piece for the entrance to the Suez Canal called Egypt Carrying Light to Asia, which would have featured a veiled Egyptian peasant woman holding a lantern. The Egyptian Khedive declined, based on what it would cost. 7. When the statue first arrived from France, she was the color of a shiny new penny. It took roughly 20 years for Liberty to Pacina to the greenish-blue hue she is today. 8. The statue is modeled on a real person. Frederick Bartholdi has trumped any Mother's Day gift you could ever come up with. He used his mother, Charlotte, as the model for the most recognized statue in the world. This was first discovered in 1876, when Bartholdi invited French Senator Jules Bozier into his box at the opera. When Bozierian pulled back the curtain to step into the box, he was shocked to find a real-life version of the Statue of Liberty sitting there in the box. When he said so to Bartholdi, the sculptor smiled, but do you know who this lady is? She's my mother, he told the senator. 9. 
She's got a lot of nicknames. According to the Statue of Liberty Encyclopedia, everybody's gal has a lot of nicknames. America's Freedom, America's Great Lady, At Liberty, Bartholdi's Daughter, Giant Goddess, Grand Dame, Green Goddess, The Lady Higher Up, Lady of the Harbor, Lady on a Pedestal, Lady with a Torch, Mother of Exiles, Mother of Freedom, Saint Liberty, and the Spirit of American Independence. 10. The Statue of Liberty, is, in fact, a nickname. Bartholdi's name for his gift was Liberty Enlightening the World, 